Hi, it's Des here. I am in Pittsburgh in the USA. We are at SHARE 2019. I have the pleasure of being joined by Nicole Fagan, who is the Director of Product Management in the Broadcom Mainframe Division. Nicole, great to see you. Des, it's so nice to meet you in person. We've been exchanging and I've been watching all of your podcasts, so it's so nice to finally meet you. Well, you're the one listening, maybe. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Indeed, and thank you very much for making time to catch up with me on camera. Um, so we've got an exciting uh, event here this week in Pittsburgh, SHARE 2019, focused on all the amazing things that are happening with Big Iron and Mainframe and what Broadcom's bringing to this. In particular, though, I would like to talk about what you're doing strategically around modernization, optimization, security in the Mainframe platform. I'd like to talk about some of this great energy that's coming with the new faces around your associate software engineers or your AS program. Yep. Uh, then I'd like to get your um, story on women in IT and what you're doing uh, as an organization, particularly yourself. Uh, and then maybe a, a wrap up around uh, what I've heard with regard to you expanding your role in the event share itself. So maybe let's just start with um, strategy. So we hear about modernization, optimization, and security on the mainframe platform. What does that mean to you and Broadcom as a brand? So it means everything for us. Um, it's where we're driving our strategy. It's what we're doing to enable all of our customers to move their businesses faster. So specific to modernization, it's really about being open and frictionless. So we are opening up the mainframe platform so that customers can use the latest APIs, they can use whatever um, IDEs they want to in order to enable their application developers to access the mainframe. Um, frictionless from start to finish. From the buying experience to the install, to using the product, to again, monitoring, managing, and driving your uh, data centers into the future. Well, you know, we, there's a lot of talk uh, over the last few years around you know, where the mainframe is still uh, relevant and so forth, but when we look at the data, the substantial amount of data that's stored on mainframes now is just mind-boggling, and I see numbers between sort of 70 and 75% or more, and I think a lot of people forget, and even myself coming here, booking an airline, getting the hotel, the airline booking was made on a mainframe. Uh, my bank transaction with my credit card was pushed through mainframes. So I think you know, there's this misnomer that mainframes were a legacy platform, and yet they're technically the biggest Linux box on the planet, uh, the most secure piece of hardware. Um, uh, this must be something you come across occasionally, that, that uh, the people don't fully understand the relevance of mainframe and the fact that it's been persistently there. I guess this speaks very much to the whole uh, focus on modernization and particularly the security uh, aspect of mainframe, right? Yes, it does. So you're absolutely right. A lot of people don't realize how powerful the mainframe is, how many of the Fortune 500 companies are running on it, um, that nine out of the 10 world's largest banks all run on the mainframe. Wow. So every time you're using that credit card or if you're still somebody that wants to go to a teller, that's okay too. But all those transactions truly do go back to the mainframe. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make that experience, you know, what everybody's looking for. So you've, we've all got our iPhones and our fancy apps and perhaps not so comfortable with a dark screen and you know punching in all the keys so we want to make it so that's a seamless hybrid engagement um, that the customers are able to go through so it's very personal to the end user and very powerful on the back end because we have all of that data it's very um, it's user data or yeah. PII data, yeah. right? Versus what you can Google. Google has lots of data, but how many pictures of cats do we really need yeah, to exactly. see? <laughs> so, so getting to that customer data, driving our insights off of that data, enabling our customers to drive their business and their insights off of that data is absolutely where we're going. And to your point on security, mission critical. Mm. We don't mess around. No. It is locked down. We make sure the right people at the right time have the right access to the data, whether it's read access or write access or edit access. We make sure that the right people have access to that data. And we also make sure that we have all the auditing necessary to right. prove that only the right people have access to that data. So lots and lots of great innovations coming in, in that space in particular. That's exciting. Now, um, we, there's a lot of energy around uh, something you're doing at the moment around what I'm calling fresh faces, uh, your uh, associate software engineer program. Uh, I had the pleasure of having one of your uh, earliest uh, ASCs on my podcast recently with one of your colleagues, and uh, I was quite surprised by just how broad this thing was and how long it's been running. So maybe for viewers who haven't heard of what an ASC is, maybe just quickly explain what an associate uh, software engineer is, and then some insight into the program itself. Oh, more than happy to. So the associate software engineer Engineers are new to mainframe. It could be that they're in a career transition state and this is a new career opportunity for them. It could be that they're just coming out of school and this is their first career. This is their first real right. job in the real world. Um, and so we're really proud of this program. 
uh, we had this past six weeks 35 fresh faces wow. all here in Pittsburgh all staying in a hotel co-located so they're building their network they're learning about the mainframe from all of our experts they're they're building their sense of community and they're all here at share this week brilliant so Fantastic. all 35 of them are here to meet everybody understand about share um, Give us the insights on why did you pick mainframe? Right. Right? And so a lot of great energy. And I have to say I met so many of them last night at the welcome reception and they were very professional. They came up, they introduced themselves to me, they let me know what product area they're gonna go into, Brilliant. they let me know what site they're gonna be at, a couple of them are gonna be at my home site, so they're okay. gonna be my new friends. Um, and I just it's just so great to have the energy. Well they're lucky if there's a few in your hometown because <laughs> they've, they've got you as a mentor. I did actually have the pleasure, so um, for the viewers who don't know this, there was a, uh, a launch uh, dinner uh, opening last night at the Andy Warhol Museum here in Pittsburgh and uh, I actually had the same pleasure I was looking at uh, this giant black and white colored elephant and uh, a, a, a young uh, guy next to me introduced himself and asked him what he's up to and he actually mentioned that he was one of the ASCs so awesome. there you go and uh, exactly what you had just uh, echoed that really really professional courteous just downright decent person so clearly a good program now you're doing some amazing stuff in uh, the space of women in IT and I guess the supporting space of women in business but tell us what you're doing about uh, yourself personally and I guess as an organization as Broadcom with the whole topic of women in IT because this is this has developed massive groundswell for a bunch of great reasons um, probably well and truly overdue uh, maybe just give us some insight into what you're doing and then what the organization's doing absolutely so for us you know we look at it and women halfway through their career, over 56% opt out of the IT field. Wow. So there's there's barriers there that we want to be able to break down. And so we want to be able to show that women can progress their careers through IT, right. which means you, you got to be able to see who's next. You have to have a role model. You have yeah. to have somebody to look to. So here with CHAIR, um, they do have a special uh, track around women in IT. So there's panels today. I'm on one of the panels this afternoon oh, with two, two newer tenured. Um, one young lady has a, um, a few years at Vanguard, she's actually with CA prior to that, um, and they're just exciting. They're excited about being here, they want to learn, they want to grow, um, and they want to know how, how to make their careers progress as well. So I'm looking forward to, to that conversation. And then overall, with women in IT, we want to continue to expand our network. We want to continue to, again, reinforce from the youngest of ages yep. right through their career, because <clears throat> you have to be able to see that, that it's possible. Um, so we continue to extend the outreach both here at SHARE as well as through mentoring programs mm -hmm. um, in the Broadcom office. So always looking for new mentees, always looking for a new mentor, be open to, to whoever the possibility Fantastic. might be. Well, as a proud parent of an 18-year-old daughter as of next Friday, um, you know, and, and, and my better half, I've, I've seen all of these challenges and been frustrated with myself. Um, so I think this is a really exciting uh, thing you're doing. And I love the fact the organization's behind it. Now, um, you've had a very large role in the SHARE event for some time and, and a, one of the foundational brands from my knowledge. But you're looking to expand that uh, in, in, in a sense from what I understand. Uh, tell us what that means. Oh, so I have been coming to SHARE for 20 years, literally it's 20 <laughs> years this year. So I came to my first year at SHARE, I was only six months in at IBM, so I was previously wow. with IBM. And they're like, <clears throat> fresh face, new person, send her to SHARE. And everybody was so welcoming and so so gracious and I learned so much, you mean, to, right. to have all this knowledge with all the experts inside yeah. of a week. Um, so I've been very, very engaged with the SHARE community throughout. And I want to continue that relationship. And so with Broadcom, we're looking at how do we expand our investment into the mainframe community. Right. And sure enough, Share came right to the top. It's I'm like sure. these are our people. This is our culture. This yeah. is our community. How do we help it? Help it grow. Help it foster. So you'll see additional sponsorships from Broadcom coming into Brilliant. Share um, for the first time. We're doing a lunch on Wednesday so that everybody can have a giant networking event. Brilliant. Um, and again, just the, the, the time and the commitment, sharing our strategy on where we see the market going so that SHARE can open up their channels and be mm -hmm. versed in the overall market strategy and then start to help all the users align to, to the go forward strategy and have those key Fantastic. conversations. Well, I think you know, for folk who are, who are tuned in, uh, they may not know that the event itself has been running for so long I've lost count. Um, <laughs> and it's often one of those things where um, it's not so much overlooked, but we take it for granted that this thing just keeps ticking on year on year and builds that network, as you said, and that, that foundational community. And in fact, I had the pleasure of joining uh, your team with a Zoe meetup last night, uh, oh, nice. yesterday afternoon, uh, in your offices here. And um, I was I'm really pleasantly surprised by just the amount of energy and, and also the range of age groups. 
Uh, Absolutely. I counted five different age groups, which I won't uh, outline, but uh, for the sake of some in the room. But it, it literally went from sort of you know, early 20s through to, I'm not going to say where, and the amount of energy that came from the wall was just astounding. You know, it was like a great open source meetup, birds of a feather, the whole thing. Um, but yeah, just the essence of what Share is about for me. And I, I think to see it gain the support that you're going to bring to it is going to just see it bloom even more. We are definitely looking forward to it. So it's all about Share. Um, and we're here to share it. So what did Justin say during his opening? It's not an acronym, it's what we do. <laughs> so we're all here to it's share a, our knowledge a, and experience. It's a verb. Um, so uh, last quick question for you if I, I can. Um, I mean, it's a no-brainer. We'd like people to engage. We'd like them to jump on LinkedIn and follow your business page, engage with some of your SMEs, join the conversation on Twitter. Uh, I think the hashtag is SharePGH, um, which tripped me up for a while, but it turns out PGH is what Pittsburgh nicknames itself. <laughs> and um, just join the conversation. But also, after the event, I imagine uh, there's some key assets around your website and other places they could potentially visit to, to engage with your brand, your team, and the organization, and just reach out and start a conversation. Absolutely. So, Broadcom.com, you can find uh, the main frame division right off of the major site with Broadcom. Um, and then we have mainframe technical exchanges, totally technical, 100% technical criteria right. coming up in Lyle and in Addison, Texas, so just outside of Plano. So all of our developers, all of our subject matter experts, um, our architects, they will be there sharing their knowledge on our latest um, deliverables so that customers can, can move forward and adopt our technologies as fast as possible. Fantastic. And just, just join the conversation, get started and reach out. And I would say reach out sooner than later. I think a lot of organizations are a little shy about reaching out and starting the conversation as soon as possible as opposed to waiting till, till bad things happen. Um, my experience has been certainly with Broadcom and the, previously the CA team. As soon as you can get that conversation started, the sooner you can start avoiding some of the pitfalls and potentially wear some cost or time delay. Well, Nicole, it's been great to see you. Thank you very much for making time to catch up with me and congratulations on Share 2019. It's been an amazing event and I'm looking forward to what the next few days have ahead for us. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jess. Thanks, Nicole.